guys, Rosie with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be day 10 of the 31 Days of Tarot. Sorry for, <laughs> I'm one day behind, but I really wanted to, um, to do this one. So <clears throat> I just had a lot happen uh, the last couple days and, you know, I was working. So just got a little busy. Um, but my top, well, not, no, it's actually not the top. <laughs> Um, it's basically tarot decks that I want to work with more in 2019. So this year, what tarot decks do I want to work with more? Um, so I was going through my collection and the first one that popped out to me is the Elemental Tarot. Um, this is by Caroline Smith. This is the same creator who did the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. Now the Elemental Tarot is... It is a tarot deck, but it is also very oracle inspired. I mean, to me, it feels like an oracle deck, <clears throat> but um, technically it's a tarot deck. And so this is one that I really, really, really want to work more with um, this year. The, the imagery is gorgeous in the cards. Um, the version that I have, which I think is the first edition, <coughs> is the Graybacks. I believe this is the first edition, but I could be wrong. But the cards themselves look like this. And you can see why I would say that it's like an Oracle deck because it has kind of a um, the Oracle feel, but it is a tarot deck. But as you can see, the artwork is just so different. <laughs> um, very colorful, it's just really cool. So this is definitely one that I wanna pick up more um, for the uh, 2019 year. So that is the Elemental Tarot. The next one is my um, Book of Thoth. This is the Itella Tarot, Itella, Itella. I could be saying it wrong. This one is really cool. Um, it has pip decks, like pip cards. So the minor arcanas are just, you know, the suits. Nothing really exciting. Um, it is in a different language, so it is a little hard for me to, you know, <laughs> figure out what it's saying at times. Um, I have been contemplating writing in the English translation for it but um sorry for the blur i'm not used to this i'm using the forward facing camera uh come on <laughs> there we go yeah so as you can tell like it's different um i really like that it's marseille because to me it kind of helps with me wanting to read um intuitively it does have a reversed and a um, upright version. These are, they're actually all backwards. So it just depends on taste. I think one of the reasons why I didn't pick this deck up, these are the backs, that I don't pick this deck up often is because um, it's a little difficult to read language wise. Um, this has actually been a, a deck that I actually pull for myself. So when I do read with it, it's usually for myself when I'm just pulling some cards quickly. Um, I also use it for aesthetic reasons for photos um, because some of the cards are just really, really cool looking. <sighs> Will I read with it for clients? Mm, <laughs> probably not, but you know, we'll see. The next one is the Vampire Tarot. I have had this one for a couple years. Um, it's created and illustrated by Natalie Hertz, in case anyone was wondering. It's by US Games, so you could totally find it at a pretty decent price. Um, this is one that I always pull out like around the Halloween season. The backs are gorgeous. This is like one reason why I wanted the deck in the first place is because of the backs. <laughs> um, but I never read with it. Like I, ha I always pull it out for the holiday, the holiday, the Halloween season, fall, and then I don't do anything with it. And it's like, really? I think it's super cute. Like when I actually go through the cards, I'm just like, it's so cool. I should be using this more. So for the most part, um, it's pretty easy to, to decipher which, which what cards mean what. Not all of the imagery is right or weight based, but a good portion of them are. It's pretty cool though. 
I mean, how can you say no to, how can you, how can you say no to vampires? <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the vampire tarot. It's really cool. It's cartoony. So if you're into that, like cartoonish look, you, and you love vampires, this is going to be a deck you're going to want. <laughs> so it's just really cool. And then the, the cards, I actually, um, edged them in like a red, like a real dark red. So that's kind of cool. So that's that. We'll see if this one makes a debut. Um, next is the Antique Anatomy Tarot, the Ephemera Edition. This one I'm surprised I did not reach for more often because I really enjoy the artwork. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it'll come out more this fall. I'm thinking this is going to be like a fall deck. Um, it's very cool. It's, it's, um, very similar to my Oracle of Oddities. It actually would go perfect with the Oracle of Oddities. It's by the same creator. Um, so as you can see, they're pip cards. So really cards like this, like when, when the minor arcana doesn't just picked much of a, of a, an action towards the, the meaning of it, it can really help you trust your intuition and just read the tarot organically. Um, so that's what I really like about the cards. But now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, why don't I use this? <laughs> I love the whole skeleton and uh, flowers. I just think it's gorgeous. Ugh. So this is one that I should be using more often. This is actually could be really good spring cards too because of the flowers. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll pull it out for springtime. Um, next on my list and my and last on my list is the Game of Thrones Tarot. This is this one I obtained a couple weeks ago. It's really fun. Um, it's just one of those like fun decks. <laughs> you know, if you love Game of Thrones. I really like the card backs. I think they're beautiful. Um, the card stock is different. The way it's, it's, it just has a different feel to it. The imagery is really cool. And you don't even have to be a follower of Game of Thrones to appreciate it. I mean, you really don't. It helps, but you could totally, that's what I think I like about this deck, is that you could totally read with it without really knowing much about the characters. Because the imagery is very similar to Rider Waite. Um, or it's just easy to kind of tell, like the Two of Cups. I mean, it's just kind of easy to tell. But yeah, you can you can kind of see like that Rider Waite feel in some of these. So <laughs> that's the um, Game of Thrones Tarot. I definitely want to be pulling more from this one. I just love it. It's a cool one. I was surprised too. Like I wasn't going to purchase this one, but my husband was like, no, baby, you should get it. You like Game of Thrones and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'll get it just, just as for fun for me. And then when I saw the cards, I was like, wow, I actually really like it. <laughs> so those, those are my cards. Those are my decks that I really want to try to work with more um, this year. We will see. Um, of course, I want to use all of them, but these are like the ones that I haven't been getting much love. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will be here for the next, the next one.